Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this light up shaker necklace. Now I'm going to be using items from the Sophie and Toffee February Elves box but also going to be using a few pigments from previous boxes as well. Now I decided to go for using just one of the moulds because when I tried to use both of them together um, it didn't quite work out for me but that's probably because I used UV resin and obviously there is some shrinkage with that so the two pieces didn't quite match up together so we're just going to use just the one mould for today. <laughs> And then I might try using both moulds at a later date with some epoxy resin. So as you can see here, I've just mixed together my pigments, glitter and resin. And we're going to go full blown rainbow, honey. Yes, all the colours, all the prettiness, all the softness. <laughs> this necklace is going to be just a little bit extra. Now usually when I put lights in resin, I would actually have a base layer done first, usually done with epoxy resin, and then I would use the UV resin to sort of put little dots around it just to kind of secure it in place and then pour on my final colours. I didn't do that because I forgot, quite frankly, but with a little bit of fiddling, I actually managed to make this work and I'm really, really happy that it actually turned out okay. So now what you can see me doing is just um, using some UV resin to attach the wire to the back. I am not a fan of having dangly wire hanging out of pieces. So I always like to try and attach them to the back or hide them in some way, shape or form. Um, I'm now using a little bit of double-sided tape just to tape the battery pack to the back, but I noticed there was quite a bit of flickering. So I just taped over the top of the battery pack as well, just to try and sort of secure the batteries in. It's still absolutely fine. I can still change the batteries if ever I need to. Now I'm adding a final layer of UV resin just to really secure everything in place and so that I can cover up the wires with glitter because whenever you want to hide something that's a little bit unsightly, you just use glitter. And I popped a little machine on the back as well. I know nobody else is gonna see it, but I know that she's there and that's all that matters. <laughs> right, so this quote, never apologize for how you look or how you feel. This is from Sugar and Sloth. Those of you who are already subscribed to me will already know that I do unbox the Sugar and Sloth Tiny Party Club boxes and this was one of the first little leaflets that I got and I thought it was so adorable but it was actually too big to go into this shaker so I managed to find the image online and I just printed it out I laminated it because I thought that that would be enough to sort of just like protect it from having any oil seeping into the corners but that actually wasn't the case because when you cut something that's laminated you then lose that protection so after a few tries I managed to get it all sorted I did use a touch of shaker film over the top of it just to uh, really sort of like secure everything in before adding in my oil um, but yeah this this took me quite a while this took me four tries what you're seeing here is my final try and I was literally like however this turns out is however it turns out and luckily <laughs> it actually turned out perfectly fine So there you have it my darlings, this is the thinnest shaker that I've ever made. Trust and believe, it was not easy. You might look at this video and think, oh this is actually really simple. Honestly it wasn't, okay? So this might take you a few tries if you try to attempt this. Please do not be discouraged, it is worth it in the end. I absolutely love it and I hope that you do too. And I also hope that you take that quote to heart, okay? Be yourself there is only one you. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.